Thanks for joining us for the Riz Extra. We have the uh, former U.S. Ambassador Zalmay Khalil Zad with us. Sir, the, uh, President Obama faces some uh, key foreign policy challenges now uh, that he's empowered. Do you think he should harness the U.N. for such issues as Iraq and the Middle East conflict? Well, absolutely. I think the uh, uh, U.N. can be a very important instrument to advance the U.S. agenda and to advance the cause of peace. And uh, uh, we, during my period that I was there, uh, worked hard to increase the role of the UN in Iraq in the reconciliation process internally. More can be done uh, as Iraq gets ready for national elections, mm -hmm. as Iraq has to tackle the issue of uh, provincial boundaries that are still unresolved. As a former U.S. ambassador to Iraq, uh, you oversaw the elections in the nation and watched how uh, it, it spiraled into sectarian violence. What happens when U.S. troops leave? Well, I believe that Iraqi national institutions have become quite strong. They still are not in a position uh, to handle the security situation on their own. There is a roadmap for reducing uh, uh, U.S. Uh, forces as the situation improves. I believe it's important to stick uh, to the schedule as conditions allow. And I think uh, President Obama uh, would do the right thing if he would uh, pay attention to the conditions rather to the campaign promises that he made. I know that the, there is a desire to leave Iraq and ultimately the U.S. will leave. But I think it's very important not to take a, uh, a step in terms of withdrawal that will precipitate the unraveling of Iraq and to undo the achievement that have been made or progress that is being made. A quick final thought. You were very closely associated with George W. Bush's administration, had a very strong role in it, Afghanistan, Iraq, and the UN. What, do you, what sort of legacy do you think President Bush will leave for both the U.S. and for Iraq? Well, I, th I, it, it, I think it's too soon to tell. If Iraq uh, succeeds, and uh, it, uh, right now looks more promising than it did at times in the past, uh, then I believe that his uh, legacy will be a very positive one because Iraq is an important country in the heart of the Middle East, and it can play an important role in reshaping uh, uh, the future of the region. Irrespective of the fact there were no weapons of mass destruction? Well, th I think that will remain as an issue. Uh, uh, but it's important to recognize that the decision was made based on the assumption uh, that there was uh, weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. I don't think the president uh, decided to go in and say there was weapons of mass destruction while knowing that there weren't weapons of mass destruction there. But that will remain a big issue in the history of dealing uh, with Iraq uh, for some time to come. Thank you, sir. Well, you're watching Riz Extra there with the former U.S. Ambassador, Dr. Zalmay Khalilzad. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.